Art history. Wow, this is some pretty neat stuff. Uh, Bill, please don't touch that. Oh, sorry. Today we're going to be talking about Vanitas paintings. Vanitas paintings are a Dutch style from the 17th century that contain seemingly common or random objects that upon further inspection have deeper or even heavy meanings. Look at this painting, Vanitas with glass ball and violin by Pieter Claus. There's an overturned glass, a pocket watch, a violin, and most notably, the mystical glass orb. So what does all this junk symbolize? What does it mean? Well, to start, let's look at the glass. It's been spilled, right? The liquid, symbol of pleasure, is gone. Did somebody drink it? Or was it tragically wasted? The water's gone. I know, right? Sucks. What about the pocket watch? It's been opened, like someone was looking at him, fathoming the mysterious nature of- Bill? Oh, Bill. time. Thank you. Let's move on to the mystical glass ball. What do you see? What do you think it means? Uh, I don't know. Look! There, um. reflected in the glass, a self-portrait of the artist. These offer a new dynamic between the viewer and the painter. The viewer can see Claus while he works on the painting, and see the process of creating the painting. What Claus is teaching the viewer is that every painting conceals more than it reveals. And it wasn't just Claus. Artists like William Clough, Clara Peters, and Rachel Roosh all use mental mori in their art. Artists like these would use small nuances as tools to remind viewers about the shortness of life and the closeness of death. Let's take a look at some of these in Rachel Roosh's Vantoff painting, Fruit and Insects. True to Vantoff's style, Roosh includes several symbols of the brevity of life. First, there's the nut in the front center of the painting. You can see the nut has been cracked and the interior exposed. The common imagery symbolizes life being cut short. The shell, the symbol of life, has been fractured, and the viewer can see into the center of the walnut, the beyond. Roosh makes the viewers ask questions about what happened after one's life. Is there an afterlife? If so, what should the viewer expect? The audience doesn't know exactly when they are going to die, but it is inevitable that they will. The advent of Vanitas isn't surprising given the historical context. During the 17th century was the Enlightenment period in Europe. It was a time of discovery, science, and more critical thinking in all aspects of society, including art. Works by Kauf and Roosh and Claus all look for the deeper meaning in art. That's what makes Venetos so great. Thank you, and I'll see you next time on Bill Nye, the Art History Guy. Bill, what did I say about the artifacts? Gotta Put go. those down. Put those down. <laughs> Bill! Bill!